hey what's up guys this is akash in this video i will show you how you can make a wireless water level indicator or controller without any microcontroller this is very simple and easy circuit this is a wireless system that means you don't need any long wires also the transmitter circuit voltage is only 9 volt so it is safe to use also there is no chance of electrical shock so you can use it easily i will show you how you can use it as an indicator also how you can control your pump with this circuit so let's do it This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the largest PCB manufacturer in China. Here you can design your own PCB by free PCB editor. Just upload your Gerber file and order your own PCB under two dollar for ten pieces. Check description for more information. So first we will take a demo of the circuit. Then we will see how you can modify this setup according to a requirement. So here you can see this is our receiver circuit and this is our transmitter circuit. Now consider this glass as a water tank. So let's test it. As you can see, the setup is totally wireless. So now I will fill this glass with water and then see what's happened. So first switch on the transmitter circuit. Here you can see, whenever I press the switch on button, the receiver circuit indicator is on. Okay. So here you can see guys, the 4 LED is currently switched on, that means the tank is now full, okay. I hope you understand guys. So now let's see how you can make this set, uh, circuit and also you can modify this setup according to your requirement, okay. So let's see. Okay guys, this is our circuit diagram. This is the transmitter circuit. So this is our transmitter circuit, okay. And here you can see, I use a HT12E encoder IC with the transmitter uh, module. And here, is, here I use 4 transistor which is BC547. Here you can use any NPN transistor. And this is our water tank. Okay. So here you can see there is 5, uh, five wires, total 5 wires. Okay. The 4 wire is for 4 level indicator and the another is 9 volt power supply. Okay. Now let's see the receiver section. So this is our receiver circuit, here you can see this is our 4 LED indicator, this is our HT 12 d decoder IC and this is our receiver, section, uh, receiver module, okay. You can use 9 volt or 5 volt power supply, also in uh, transmitter circuit you can use 9 volt or 5 volt power supply. Okay now, so, so now if you want to use your water pump in this setup then you have to modify this circuit, okay. Suppose, so in that case suppose you have a 1 HP motor, okay, 1 HP motor. So 1 HP motor means uh, around 746 watts, okay. So uh, this is a single phase motor. In that case to handle this circuit, so this is a 746 watts motor. So as you can, as you know, P equal to VI. So the power is 746 watt, voltage is 230 volt, okay, into I. So the current will be 746 by 230. So this will around. 3.24 amps okay but guys this is an induction motor so in that case the starting current will be 2 to 2.5 times or uh, times of this uh, amount of current okay so in that case the total current will be at starting 3.24 into 2.5 so this will be around 8.1 amps okay guys so here i suggest you uh, instead of using this kind of uh, relay you can use this kind of larger relay okay this is a 20 amps rating relay and this is a 10 amps rating relay okay so you can use this kind of relay because this relay can handle a lot of power so you can use this relay okay so you have to change this circuit to drive this relay so in that case suppose this is our uh, level 1 this is the level 1 this is the level 2 this is level 3 and this is level 4 so you want uh, to turn off your motor at level 4 so in that case suppose this is our output okay okay so to drive this relay we have to use 
transistor okay so in that case here you, you have to use a transistor suppose um, we can use here a BC547 transistor this is the base this is the collector and this is the emitter okay you can uh, ground this emitter terminal okay that means you can connect this ground terminal with the negative supply of uh, negative power supply okay and this is our relay so this is the coil terminal this is the common terminal this is the normally open terminal and this is the normally clo closed terminal okay so suppose sorry we have to connect in this manner this is our power supply and this is our motor okay this is our motor and this is our 230 volt power supply okay so here you have to use a diode to protect the transistor okay and this will be connect to the positive supply suppose this is a 12 volt rating relay so you have to use a 12 volt power supply to drive this relay okay 12 volt supply okay guys i hope you understand this setup i already made a video on this uh, topic but the video is in hindi version so if you have any problem please comment in the comment section also i'll put the circuit diagram as well as the component list in the description below so please and thanks for watching guys see you in my next video